an uncharacteristic revelation by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. In the last 48 hours, Israel attacked a warehouse of Iranian weapons at the international airport in Damascus. This reflects our consistent policy and firm determination to prevent military entrenchment of Iran in Syria. And if need be, we'll intensify these attacks. It is generally acknowledged by both political and military leaders that Israel acts against Iranian entrenchment in Syria. But it is rare for Israeli officials to acknowledge specific strikes. Now, the Israeli premier is putting the message out not only once, but twice. He went into more detail at a cabinet meeting where he went into the numbers. We took action with impressive success to arrest Iran's military entrenchment in Syria. And in this framework, the IDF has carried out hundreds of attacks against Iranian and Hezbollah targets. Some experts believe this statement has another motive. The decision by the Prime Minister to go public is a decision that will definitely be discussed by both the opposition parties and by the Israeli public because it's a bit of a far-reaching exploitation on both the political party level and for Israel's security. It also strays from the policy of ambiguity Israel has typically adhered to. You cannot pinpoint one event. It is an accumulation. If there is an attack every week and the Prime Minister talks about it, the consequences are bad. With ambiguity, you can work quietly and it stays out of the political discourse. But the impact could be worse and the cost may be more severe. The accumulative effect of many strikes has a point, and I'm not sure we know how to read it. Whereas the Russians, Syrians and Iranians will say, wait, they are making a joke out of us, and we must put an end to it, and that might exact a price we will have to pay. Daniel Tzemach, I-24 News.